and this is World Student News Today. Today, I have breaking news for you. I heard that Mrs. Auden's lab class has been eating s'mores during class. I remember when I was little, there's no horseplay, no running around, and definitely not eating food. So I'm wondering what's going on. Yeah, I'm here with Dr. Zobo. Dr. Zobo, you know about safety lab procedures. What's going on in Mrs. Auden's lab? Well, these kids obviously need a recap on the science safety rules. I gotta peek in and see how to help them. Yeah. Oops, I'm just gonna clean that up. Excuse me, what are you doing? Science! This is not I'm mixing science. chemicals. First of all, you need to spit that gum out. You need to put those safety goggles on also. You can hurt Fine. yourself. This is acid. Did you even look at the safety procedures? No, I just thought I could mix them together and it would work. Well, in order to be successful in the lab, you have to follow all the instructions. You have to follow all the instructions. <sighs> Including, first, you have to pour the water in, and then the acid. If you don't do this, the acid could just splash into your eyes, like this. There you go, see? Thank you. Without a mess. Thank you for teaching me how to be safe so I do not injure me or the people around me. Yes, and in the meantime, tie your hair back. It's getting all over the place. What other safety rules do you need to follow in the lab? Well, when you have this gas burner, okay, you never ever want to reach over this So let's flame. say the flames here, I don't want to be roasting like marshmallows or anything. Never eat in or, the like, lab. Or like play with it, I can't never. do that? No. no. Okay. Can I like, like, like no one's in here, can I play with it? Never, never work alone in the lab. Are you sure? Because some, I'm It can be very dangerous. You okay. don't know how to use all this equipment yet. I could do that. Also, I've noticed that your shirt is very baggy. This could lean and go into the acid and it could catch on fire, or anything could happen. That's very dangerous. Yes. When you do a lab, you need to have tighter clothing, or you have to tie these baggy sleeves back. Yes, scientist. So, let's say I'm like, wanna like have fun. Am I allowed to touch these? Never touch it unless your teacher tells you to do so, okay? You could hurt yourself or somebody else. Okay, okay. Make so sure to clean up your mess without using your hands. You need a paper towel to clean it the proper way. And also, once you pour them into the sink, make sure you clean the sink too. So let's say I kind of get them on my hands and I start rubbing my eye. Do I only have to like splash my face and then I'm okay? No, you need to report to the um, eye wash station right away. And make sure you tell your teacher you need to stay under there for 20 minutes in order to get all that acid out. 20 minutes? Yes. It's okay. a safety precaution. What happens if I don't wash my eyes? They could get, you could burn your eyes. You can get, well, you could essentially go blind after a while. Oh. Like Carol? Just she like work. Carol. Carol, Chloe, <laughs> Carol. This sounds very familiar. Is there anything else I need to be aware of? Hey, scientist Zobo. Hey. Do you have a question? How would you remember all these rules? That's easy. Well, I just made up a song. Okay. Here goes. I was just in the lab thinking to myself, what do I do next? Well, my hands are clean, my goggles on, the teacher needs to give me directions. Oh, yeah. So keep your hands off your face and your eyes and your mouth to prevent an infection. I said, don't wear a bracelet and your new big wig and sweatshirt. No, no. Follow all safety rules when you're using lab tools. I believe Mrs. Ives said, science can be fun. Never work by yourself. Clean it up and clean myself. And remember, don't run. Here are your safety rules. Use the ones you don't fool. see you there. 
Sí.